Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. So today's video is all about the Apple Reminders app. So I've used a lot of productivity apps and they promise you all kinds of things like the most simplistic app you've ever used or with this app you'll become a productive guru or something. But in reality, they are not that great as the Apple Reminders app. Main reason for that is because of Siri. Siri will become your personal assistant with the Apple Reminders app. And I'll show you today how to do that in a second. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So let's first start off with the layout of this app. So if we just look at it, we see that the foundation of this app is split up in two categories. You can add new reminders or you can't or you can add a whole list. And with a whole list, when you add it and you choose where you want to store it, mostly I go with iCloud because I have an iCloud subscription. So I'll go and make a new list. For this example, I'm using Jim. I give it this bluish color and let's go with this icon. So when you hit done, you see that the Jim list is now added to my all kind of lists. I have the reminders list, the groceries list, the to-do list, and the gym list. And I'll tell you in a second why you need to categorize them in a few categories like reminders, groceries, to-do list, and gym. So after categorize them, you now can add reminders to them. So for example, I have a to-do list and if I tap on it, I can add a reminder like read a book. So if we tap on this eye icon, we can schedule it to a certain day and we can do it at a certain moment, like at 10 a.m., for example. So if we just hit done now, I will be reminded on 10 a.m. that I need to read a book. So that was a hassle. We need to type it in, we need to choose a date, and we need to choose a time as well. But with Siri, it's a lot easier to do. So the only thing that you need to do is just go and say, hey Siri, remind me on 10 a.m. to read a book. Okay, add it to today's reminders. Okay, so it's not perfect. It says read the book, and I said read a book, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, but what we have now is if I go, go to my today category and I tap on it, I'll, I see read a book and it will remind me on 10 p.m. But you can even bring it a step further and ask Siri to remind you to do something in about 20 minutes or a half hour. Like, hey Siri, it reminds me in a half hour to go to the gym. So like you see, it's added to today's reminders. It says go to the gym and will remind me on 4.45. So that's the beauty of this app. It reminds you to do stuff and you don't have to go into your phone and add a new reminder and type it in and go and select a time and all of that. So that's something I do like about it. Uh, I want to share one more thing that I really use a lot of time. So let's say I have a subscription and I don't want to uh, extend that subscription or at the end of that subscription, I want to cancel it for some reason. I just have a reminders uh, list in here. And as you see, I have a subscription uh, on placeit.net, on Name Hero, on Skillshare, on Audible. And if I, for some reason, want to cancel that subscription at the end of the year or at the end of my subscription, I just type it in. I type the name of the company and you can even add, and that's something I do love about it, you can even add a link, the link of that company. So now you have a logo that you just have to look at it and you know what's what's all about. You don't have to read it, you know, oh, here's Skillshare, here's Audible, I've just canceled Skillshare, so I just have to tap on it and that reminder will vanish. And that's the beauty of it. If I go to to do and I add a new reminder like, um, I don't know. Now I have these to do's in my to do list. And let's say I've just finished filming this video. I just have to tap on it. And now it goes to the end of the list. And if I just read the book, I just have to tap on it. And now it grays out, it has this dot that you know you've just done that task for today 
and you just have one task to go and to finish. And that's actually the beauty of this app. It works so well. It's so well integrated with Siri. It works with your iPhone and you can add even a widget that you just can look at it and add a glass glance you you know what you have to do on that day so now it's set to reminders but i can edit that widget by tap and hold on it and um, tap on edit widget go and select the to-do list and now my to-do list will be visible like i said i've tapped on two things like reading a book and filming a video and now all that's left is writing a script for maybe tomorrow's video. <laughs> that's actually it. So go ahead and use the Reminders app on your iPhone. It's free. You don't have to pay anything for it. That's also an advantage of using the Apple Reminders app. Other Reminders app will ask you like $35 or euros on a year basis. And I don't like any subscription or not that much. If they add some value to my life, I definitely go for those. But if you, if they don't and you have a great alternative that just trumps every productivity app out there, then you should definitely go for it. And the Reminders app is an example of that kind of alternative that you can use. So I hope you've got something out of this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. That helps me a lot. And I'll see you in the next video.